Christmas lights, Christmas bells, and otter Christmas smells. Written by James Hugh Stevenson. Illustrated by Laura Fuller. Church bells and Christmas smells. Is that an otter? Who can tell? It was late December, December 23rd. Lotta was awoken by a cough from a bird. A red and green envelope was next to her bed. She put on her glasses, opened it, and read. Merry Christmas! Dear Lotta, do something you gotta. There is a terrible smell all over this town. It's making me gag. It's making me frown. It's up to you to find a solution. Clean up the town. Stop the pollution. Make the air fresh. Make the air new. Or there won't be any presents. Not for any of you. Santa Claus. First things first, she would need a machine. Some kind of purifier to make the air clean. She needed a helper. That was a must. She turned on Rob Otler, who'd been gathering dust. She gave him a wipe and polished him off. She started his engine. He came to life with a cough. Beep said the bot. How have you been? Fine, thanks, Rob Otler, but the air is not clean. Stay very still. I need to convert ya. Don't be afraid. I'm not going to hurt ya. Lotta replaced a spout from Rob's head kettle with an old fire hose made of rubber and metal. She switched his wheels with a supermarket trolley and one of his arms with a duck-handled brolly. Down near his bottom, she inserted the spout. She had almost forgotten to let the clean air out. Inside Rob, she made some perfume, something to banish the doom and the gloom. She mixed the ingredients lovingly together. She didn't have a spoon, so she used a feather. She threw in some Christmas sweets, some festive treats, a splash of red wine, some sprigs from a pine, cranberry sauce, mistletoe, of course, chestnuts and ham cold cuts, one chocolate frog, a cup of eggnog, and Lotta's biggest ever Christmas Yule log, mince pies, some turkey thighs, a cane of candy, an elf doll named Andy, some fairy lights, some friendly frights, a lot of holly, another duck brawly, a snowman's ear with a Christmas cheer, and finally, some fireworks to ring in the new year. She blended them together. She took great care. She had created Otter Brand Christmas Air. Before they could leave, they needed a disguise. Something festive, so no one would get wise. Not like a tiger, and not like a fish. Lotta was already sort of reindeer-ish. Lotta became Rudolph. For antlers, she used twigs. Her tomato nose, donated by pigs. Rob became Santa, painted in red. A ginger cat dozed on his head. Candy floss was used as a pink beard. This Santa was strange. This Santa was weird. The trolley was converted into a sled. They had extra paint, so it too became red. Rob was ready. He was a starter. He was a dirty air sucker and a clean air farter. They set off from the park and into the cloud. Their sleigh didn't have an engine. It wasn't too loud. In through his hose, Rob sucked in the smells. He released a festive perfume to the tune of Jingle Bells. Green in the front and pink out the back, extra bad smells were stored in a sack. Rob did his job. He did it well. He declared he was finished with the ding of a bell. 
The town smelled wonderful, lovely, and fragrant because they had used Christmas deodorant. Exhausted and drained, they went back to the park. They arrived just in time before it got dark. They slept all night and through most of the day. They were awoken on Christmas Eve by the sound of a sleigh. Santa had arrived. He was sitting on the swings. He was reading a book about otter things. A oh, very well done. The town smells delicious. It smells like my socks, exactly like Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. I've got to leave now. I've got work to do. These presents are yours, one of each of you. Santa took off, ho, ho, leaving ho. nothing behind, except reindeer poo for Lotta to find. Two sparkling gifts were under a tree for Lotta and Rob, but nothing for me. Lotta received a box with nothing inside. A perfect place for an otter to hide. Everyone knows that unlike boxes, otters love hiding inside cardboard boxes. Rob was given to his surprise a solid gold dress and solid gold eyes. Rob was happy. Rob was elated. Now that he was partially gold-plated. Rob had a price tag that few could afford. He was so valuable, Lotta had him insured. So on your next visit, please smell the playground. You might smell Lotta hiding somewhere around. Smell the trees, smell the grass. You won't catch a whiff of that pungent gas. <laughs> If you visit the park in late December, there is one thing that you must try to remember. Try not to forget to bring a scoop to pick up Lotta's festive Christmas poop. The end.